again YouTube I know it's been a little bit of time before uh, well since my last video on anything with the Ecto-1 um, uh, mainly because the last shipment I got from uh, Ecto or from uh, Eagle Moss for the Ecto-1 was sometime in the like the first part of uh, December was the last time I got a shipment and I thought well maybe during Christmas break you know at the end of December maybe you know, maybe they would ship out the next shipment. Well, they didn't. Uh, I'm not sure why. I don't know what happened. But apparently they, you know, there's a delay of some type. See, the thing about Eagle Moss, they never do send you... They never send you an email when there's a delay. If they have any kind of... It could be a shipping delay. It could be something happening with the boats, you know, the, all the boats that are having a hard time getting offloaded at the docks, you know, like California, New York, wherever the docks are. Uh, yeah, they always seem to be a delay of some type. Or in this case, after uh, the whole month of January, I didn't get anything from Eagle Moss at all. Uh, so I contacted them about this is now so you know when I'm filming this it's now February 2nd but when you see this video it may be you know a week or two after I film it so I'm just letting you know I did contact Eagle Moss I had to uh, email them it took them about two days to respond to that email and they told me that the model is on back order and then they told me about a special shipment, which I'm going to get to that in just a minute. They said there's a back order or backlog order on my account. So basically there's, I'm just waiting on them to get stuff in stock. You know, they're just out of stock. I don't understand why they don't keep stuff in stock. You know, like, if you, I'm just going to use this as an example. Let's say you have a store and you have like, I don't know, you take subscriptions and say you have 10,000 people in your subscriptions. Wouldn't it make more sense to keep enough inventory to satisfy 10,000 subscribers? You know, would that be, you know, like if you're subscribing to something like a model like Eagle Moss or Fan Home or any other service that does the same thing, wouldn't it be make more sense to put you know, keep your inventory stocked up for everybody that's signed up as a subscriber, right? Well, that would make more sense, right? If you got 10,000 subscribers, then wouldn't it be appropriate to have enough material to handle 10,000 subscribers, not 5,000? And like, then by the time you get past 5,000, it's like, whoops, we're out of stock. We're going to have to wait about two months before we ship your next thing because we'll have to restock it. I mean, that don't make sense, does it? I mean, it seems like that's what they're doing at Eagle Moss. But Fan Home don't do that. I mean, if Fan Home, you know, like, well, <laughs> I do have uh, the next four kits for uh, Fast and Furious. I just haven't had the time to uh, really work on it. I've been doing a lot of 10-hour shifts, so I'm tired. So, But, uh, yeah, they did tell me like a week. Uh, it was like two weeks ago. They told me there was a delay. There was going to be one from Fan Home. And then about five or six days, the package shows up and, you know, it's here. But at least Fan Home told me beforehand so I didn't have to worry and wonder what was going on. Well, Eagle Moss don't do that. So anybody that has to deal with Eagle Moss, you know what I'm talking about. I feel your pain, you know, so if you're doing the same problem, I understand. But I got a couple of things I want to show you. As you know, anytime if you sign up with uh, with Eagle Moss to do the Ecto One or any of their models, you know they usually have what they call special shipments. Okay, so in this video, I'm not going to do the model about the Ecto One, but I did get a special shipment. Now I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. Okay, uh, there are some people, and I've seen it on on uh, Facebook forums and stuff, I mean not forums, but you know, Facebook groups that do uh, things with Ecto-1, that every time they get a, every time they, every time Eagle Moss gets ready to ship you a special gift, or not a gift, but a special shipment, they want to charge you almost the same price as, 
you know, say whatever your model is, you know, whatever your first, your shipment of your model kits are, they want to charge you almost the same price close to it for your special shipment. Well, some people don't want their special shipment, you know, but for me, I want the collectibles that come with the model. I want them. So the price doesn't matter on that part of it. You know, some people don't, they will disagree on that because it's like, oh, it's not worth the money. It's like, think about something for a minute. These special shipments that Eagle Moss has is coming from Eagle Moss. So how else are you going to get them? You're not going to get them any other way unless you get a counterfeit version of it, right? Well, I'm not into the counterfeit part. I want to actually have the authentic licensed thing, even if it costs almost the same as the model shipment. I don't have any real collectibles or anything for Ecto-1. I really don't. And so when I see a special shipment, you know, I'm excited to get it. You know, there are people out there that says, no, nah, I don't want it, and they won't, and they'll call them in, and you're supposed to let them know like a day before they ship. And then that. So basically I'm babbling on right now <laughs> about the about the special shipment, but I got something to show you. Actually, I got two things to show you. One of them is a mod, and the first thing I'm going to show you is going to be the special shipment, the first one. I actually have another one coming. But as I said in the email, when I was contacting email, first I asked them about the Ecto-1. But then when they replied back to me, they said that everything was on back order. But they also said that my special shipment was also on back order. They have to refill it before they can ship it. Uh, I'm going to kind of keep that special shipment kind of secret for now. And I will make a video when I receive that special shipment. It'll be a standalone video. It won't have the model in it. But I will show the special shipment so you can see what I'm getting. But I can tell you that it's it's not as pricey as this one that I'm looking at right now that I'm fixing to show you. Alright, so we will get into this. Oh, and uh, I might be changing the video a little bit as far as the introduction goes and stuff like that going forward. And uh, I did find some way to get some actual music for... I've had to search and search for this uh, music or background images or anything that I can use in a video that would actually be authentic to to I'm getting why is my tongue and never mind I'm it's getting more authentic uh, images and authentic music but I'm wanting to get music that sounds very close to the original if I try to play music that's played by Ray Parker that did the Ghostbusters music for the first movie. If I try to play that on my video, I'm probably going to get a copy strike. But if I can find some way to find the music and be able to alter it, then I would be able to play authentic music and be able to have the images. If I can do that without getting a copy strike, you know, then I'd be good. Because I do, I do want to monetize my videos, but I can't get, unless I get enough subscribers to subscribe to the channel I can't monetize my videos so it would be a big help if you could actually subscribe and if you could it helps me out for that point and it would also then eventually one day I can monetize my videos right now I can't even monetize them so I don't have enough subscribers so uh, yeah I guess uh, it's enough rambling and I'll get to the to the part that I was making a video about and I'm also going to show the mod after okay so hang in there Okay, as you can see, this is not a little, it's not little, you know, I'm, it's just a uh, comparison size. Now, just in case you're wanting to know, am I going to open this to show you the inside of the box? Uh, I've filled because it is a collector's item, I don't want to open it, so I'm going to leave it sealed, because who knows, maybe 15, 20 years down the road, you know, as popular as Ghostbusters is, anything that has Ghostbusters on it is probably going to go up in value. So I'm going to leave it in the box, it's going to stay sealed, and I'm going to show you the box and kind of what's inside, like, you know, showing you close-ups of it. And, uh, but as you can see, it's a figurine set, and, uh, you know, you got all the Ghostbusters in here. I don't know if it'll pick up the glare too, apparently, but maybe I can get the light shined on it. Get this on there like this and that'll help a little bit hopefully it won't be too glary okay all right so there's all the figurines they are made out of uh 
I think before they shipped this to me, they told me that it was made out of, uh, all these are made out of aluminum. So if you configure, you know, they're on their own little stands, or you can display them with the, uh, with the model, if you want to, but it looks like Egon's character looks like his arm is actually posable, but I'm not sure. But they're in their iconic, uh, stances and stuff when they're in the movie, you know, they're, they're in their iconic poses and stuff. So, yeah, that's not bad. But anyway, this is special. This is my first special shipment, so I'm just letting you know what it looks like. Now, yours might be different. Depends on how Eagle Moss does it, right? So I'm going to show you what's all on the box. And I can you can see in the background a little bit of the Ghostbusters thing going on in the background with them. As far as I can tell, there's no other documentation in the box other than that background that's in there. So, in the bottom of it, it's got all the stuff on the bottom of it. I'm going to try to zoom in on this, and you can pause it and read it. So, bear with me. Okay. Now, you can probably pause the video so you can read all of it. You know, if you can read all of it. So it is uh, it is a license by uh, Eagle Moss. So I don't think you can get this anywhere else unless somebody's selling it on eBay for a higher price. So if you're set to get all the free, uh, you know, all, not the free gifts, but, oh, well, you get free gifts too, but to get all the special shipments and stuff, you know, you would need to, you have to sign up for it, you know, when you're doing your subscription. But then you can see the Ghostbuster figurine box set. The Eagle Moss Hero Collector set, basically. I'm sorry for the glare, people. <laughs> and as you see, it's sealed. I haven't opened it yet, so I'm going to leave it that way. Make it worth more later on. And on the back of it, it gives you a little... Now, at any time, if you need to read any of the stuff that's on here, you can pause the video. Let me try to zoom in on each character so you can actually... You got Peter, Ray, Egon, and Winston. You see they're in their iconic stances and stuff, and you can read their bios or whatever you want. I'll zoom in on it or hold it up to the camera. It allows you to read, and you can pause it on this so you can look at it, so I'm not sitting there holding it for five minutes. So I'll hold it still so uh, you can pause it and read it for each one. Like that. I think it's kind of cool, but you know, some people don't want to get their special gifts. I, I mean, some, I mean, not gifts. Why do I keep calling them gifts? But some people don't want to get their uh, their special shipments. I think somebody on a, on a, um, what do they call it? the Facebook groups. Uh, some people on the Facebook groups they are not happy with their special shipments, and the reason for that is because. I think one person got like a set of pins that you would put on your, uh, that you would put on a shirt or a jacket or anything, just, uh, you know, just a pin. Well, it has the Ghostbuster emblems and stuff like that, but people didn't want them because they cost almost as much as one shipment of your model kit. And like, where else are you going to get the, the special shipments from if they're licensed by Eagle Moss? You can't get them any other way. You're not going to find them in the store unless the stores decide to buy them and start selling them, so... But anyway, that's what I wanted to talk about on this. But you can pause the video anytime, you know, and you can look at them a little closer if you want to zoom in on them or anything like that. So, But that's what my special shipment looks like on my very first one. Now, on this box right here, that I'm fixing to open up, is... Yeah, what's in this little box is something that came from uh, Scale Mods. And it's a pretty good size mod, and of course it wasn't cheap either. But again, if you want to go to his website, you know, here's one of his, uh, here's one of his cards. I will put a link down in the description of his uh, Facebook profile. He has a group that he made not too long ago. I think sometime last year before Christmas break or something, he made a group, and it allows you to sign and put you put on a waiting list for his mods that he makes. He makes these, he 3D prints them. 
all these mods that he makes and I I kind of illustrated that in one of the other videos so I'm not gonna go back to his web page and do that but I will put a I will put a link to in the bottom of the video if I can't put it in the video I'll put it in the description and I will if I can put it on the video it's gonna be right here in the bottom somewhere and it'll be a link to his uh, website or his page where you can sign up if you want to get mods for your Ecto-1. Now again, his mods are not cheap. So, and he's not based in the United States, he's in the UK. So, he does excellent work. You know, so what I'm fixing to show you, it took me six months to get this. I've been on a waiting list for six months to finally get it. So, oh, and I will be talking about something else in a minute. If I can remember it, or I can say it now. Um... His, uh, he, <clears throat> he just got a, uh, another, he just got another mod that he just made right before Christmas break. He started, mod, he started uh, experimenting and doing a, a mock-up of another mod that he's doing that's for the back of the car, the cargo bay that's inside the Ghostbusters car, and he put the... He just started making this thing available where you can sign up for it. And as you can see what this is, it's driver side workstation part two. Basically it has it has this part in it. It has it has that part in it. And you can see what's in it. If you can zoom in so and it has a little thing I don't know what I don't know the proper names of these things so it's kind of small but he kind of lists it it's in really fine print right here I'm gonna have to I'll have to read it off when I'll show you the contents of the box but basically you get four things in this one big box and this was not cheap it took me six months to get it because I was on a long waiting list if you want to get this you may be on a waiting list for a year it is that long. People want this so bad. But the other kits I'm waiting on on the next one is going to have the oscilloscope in it and uh, what they call Honeywell and oscilloscope. And I've been, I'm still waiting on that one. I've been on that for six months too. I signed up at the same time I did this one. And he still has not gotten around to making that one yet. And remember, the man is very busy, he's always doing something. And uh, he's really good at what he does. So, anyway, I'll show you what's in the box. Okay, before I get into the contents of the box, I can actually zoom in. I can't really see this with even with my glasses on. I can't even see what this says on the description, so I'm going to get up real close to it. Now, this, this part here, and you see I'm having to zoom in real close, and it says power supply box. Is that little thing. This thing is a... Uh, Uh, well, that's a mouthful. And I still can't really see it. Uh, I guess it's some kind of telecommunication type thing. Some kind of panel. <laughs> I still can't see it, so excuse me for not being able to read that. I still can't see it, so. Uh, I probably need new glasses for this, so. But I'm just showing you what's in there. It's uh, the radio transmitter and handset. What's that little thing? This little thing here. And then the other part, I'm trying to zoom in on the wording so you can see it. I'm not sure exactly what that says because I still can't see it. Uh, it's a switchboard. I'm going to call it a switchboard. So, okay. But anyway, I want to get to what's inside the box. Show you. So you've got tissue paper in there. He packs this thing with care, so you don't. Nothing gets messed up when it gets to you. So just telling you that up front. Comes in four separate boxes. Now I've I've seen this. I've opened it up before. You know when I got it. Now I got this probably back in December. And in case you didn't know, that one video when I said that we had a tornado, actually two uh, two tornadoes that showed up in, in my city, 
right around that time is when I placed an order, you know, I uh, paid for the mod. Right around that time, it was like around December 10th, December 11th or something like that when I ordered this. And it came in a week after that. A week, at, you know, right before Christmas. So, I was happy to receive it. But, uh, but as you can see, there is a lot of detail in this thing. I mean, if you go to his profile page and everything, like I said, he puts actual wire. These are real wires. You know, all this is 3D printed. Every little piece is hand painted. He paints them all these little pieces. You know, every little thing on here is painted. It's in multiple pieces. I mean, you got like, here's a piece here. There's like three or four pieces. There's about three pieces here. There's one piece here. And see, there's another piece. There's about four pieces in that little spot. This is one piece, and that's about three, maybe four parts there. And then you got this platform they're all stuck to, and that's one piece. And then this other piece here, that's another piece. And you got three pieces in that little spot, and you got like two, two or three pieces in that little thing. And then you got the wires. And he does this by hand. And you see the detail is very cool. I, mean, I don't know if I can zoom in any better than that without it being blurry, but you know, see, it's got a lot of detail in it. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the mods and everything before I actually need them for the model. Because let's say you get further along in your model build and everything and you get past this point and when you're making your model. But when you get past that point, but then all of a sudden, you know, you get your mod and you want to put it in your model. And then you have to take your model halfway apart to get to that part where you have to put it in, right? I want to get all the mods that I like to put in this into the model. That way, when I get to that stage where I have to put that part in, I can go ahead and put it in and not have to worry about it. Now, if you have your model already put together and you need to decide you're going to mod it later on, then you gotta take half your model apart just to get to that part of the model so you can put that in. I don't want to do that. I want to put it in as I need it. That's why I'm trying to get the mods before I need them. And I've already opened that before I ripped that before I could get it out. But right here's this one. And as you can see, there is a lot of parts in here. All these little bitty parts, like. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I can zoom in on that or not. But he gives more detail about it, you know, when he talks, you know, I mean, on his profile page, you can see it. I mean, all these little parts, I think it's stretchy, but all these little parts, he 3D prints every little part. There's multiple parts in there. This is not one piece. Those tiny little parts in there are all 3D printed, everything that's in there. And then they're, and then they're put in there. I mean, you got the frame, and then you have you have all this other stuff. Every little thing that goes in there. There's probably about 20 or 30 parts that are going into this thing. And those are all individual little pieces he puts in there with tweezers and sticks them in there. I think he glues them in there. I'm not sure if he glues them, but I think he does. But all these little parts are all 3D printed parts, and he paints them before he puts them together. That's a lot of detail. Let's see, it's got a lot of little stuff up here. And then this little thing bouncing around is actually a handset. And then I'll show you a little bit what it does. When you mount this onto your, so there's a magnet on it. When you mount this onto the car, you can actually pick the handset up and pick it up. And it's got a magnet in it too. And it's got a little handset that actually where it holds and you just kind of clip it on and it stays in place it's kind of cool he puts that little detail in there so it's functional i mean not functional but you know what i mean but i will stick this back in here carefully <laughs> may not be the way i took it out of the box but that's why i'm going to put it back in there but uh yeah, it's a. I like his mods; they're really cool. And I'll just 
it's going to kind of gradually. Like I said, it, I'm not ready for these mods yet. I mean, to put in the car yet. But that's okay. When I need them, when I get to that stage of the build or the model, I can just put them in. I don't have to take anything back apart or go backwards and take off a few parts of the car. I don't want to open, does it? But I don't want to have to go back and take some of the model apart just to get this in the model and then risk messing something up. So I don't want to do that. <clears throat> I really don't. Okay, I can't remember what I said this was, but. I'm sure that was probably the easiest thing for him, but I think these are individual pieces that he glued on here and he painted them. There is details in this. I know it's a little hard to see it, but but again, everything's got this little a really strong adhesive tape on the back of it. I was wanting to when I get to where I can attach some of the stuff. The stuff that comes with the model. It looks close to this stuff, but it it's not the same size. It don't look right, you know. That comes from Eagle Moss. It does not look right for the car. The mods look really good, and they look almost like the actual the stuff that you see in the real car. And that's what I want. <laughs> so I got stuck it in there wrong. I don't think it matters. But uh, yeah, it's like. Uh, the stuff that Eagle Moss gives you, you know, it's it looks okay, but it doesn't really flow with the the way the car is. I mean, the mods make it look so much better. But again, you know, if you're into the modding part and everything, it's nothing. You know, if you're against it or if you're for it, you know, whichever way you want to go, you got to admit the stuff looks really cool. And again, you know, it, it is not cheap to buy some of this stuff. It does cost some money. So, this is a little bit of a fragile part. But, I've seen how he put this thing together. I think there's like three or four parts to this. Maybe more. I think these little, these little hangers right here, I think they're individual and he glues them on. Like that hanger there and this one here. Behind this is another panel that he glues onto this one, the single piece, which has also got tape on the back of it. You got this part, and then there's a panel underneath it that goes on first that's got all these colors on it. And then he puts this other panel on top of that and glues that to it, and you get this result. That's a lot of detail. Now, he may have changed his pat, you know, the way he does it now, but. There's like another panel real flat that's under here that he painted that you get all these other colors in there, the red and the gold and white and silver, whatever it's colors. And then he puts this black panel over top of it and you get that effect. It's very cool. The one you get from Eagle Moss does not look like this. So when you get, if you get your model and you get this or if you've already gotten past that part where you're putting this stuff in your car that comes with the kit and you notice that it does not look like this. It looks a little different and it's a little bit taller and I'd rather have one that looks like it was meant to be in the car so but you gotta admit they do look cool I'll put all this up and then discuss something now <clears throat> You know, as I said, I mean, you don't have to mod. If you're getting the Ecto-1 and, you know, I'm having fun putting it together. I just don't like all the delays that they do, you know, that comes with having Eagle Moss. I don't like all the delays, but it's beyond, you know, it's not really their fault. But at the same time, it kind of is because they don't keep anything in stock. They don't seem to keep enough material in stock for all the customers. So... Yeah, they don't seem to keep anything in stock. They just wait until you are waiting for something and they keep you waiting for about another month or two. And I'm sorry, I'm bumping the camera. But then they keep you waiting for a month or two before you actually get your model. But at the same time, I mean, Eagle Mall said they scanned the... I mean, when I first signed up for this, for the uh, 
not the mods, but when I first signed up for the, the subscription to Eagle Moss, I'm having a hard time saying that for right now. I got a little bit of a cold, so I'm, you know, I'm having a little, you know, sometimes I'm having a little hard time speaking or something. Or my voice sounds a little croupy or anything, that's because I've, I had a sinus infection for the last uh, two weeks, so I'm trying to get over that. So we'll put this back up until we're neat, until it's needed. So we'll seal that back up. But anyway, there's that. Uh, we'll put this back in its box, and then we'll get into. Let me put this back in the box, and then we'll we'll talk about some things first. Okay, so mainly this is what this video is all about. Just to show you a new mod, and also to show you the special shipment that I got. So this is like special shipment number one for me. Now other people have gotten special shipments too on their models, but they. You know, they don't look like what I got. They, I think somebody got like a set of four pins that had all, you know, like all the Ghostbusters on them. That kind of thing. And some people didn't want them and they sent them back. You know, some people canceled their order on it and everything like that. But some of these special gifts that you're getting, or not gifts, I keep saying gifts, special shipments. Some of these special shipments, if you sign up for them and everything, I mean, you're going to have to pay some money for them. You know, some of them are a little pricey, but they're almost as, about as much as one shipment for your model stuff. You know, so, you know, it is what it is. You know, but Eagle Moss can set prices or whatever they want to set it on. But to me, you know, having extra collectibles to go with your model is a good thing. So, that's my opinion on it. Some people don't have that opinion. Some people don't want that stuff. You know, I do. You know, I want it. You know, because I don't have any real collectible stuff for Ecto-1 or Ghostbusters or any of that stuff. I don't have any of it. So I want to collect that with the model. But I do have another special shipment that's supposed to be coming as soon as they get it in stock. And when I receive it, I'm not going to tell you what it is right now. I know what what's coming. They sent me an email to tell me that it was going to be coming, but they sent that like a week ago. And, um, you know, it hasn't shipped yet because it's they don't have it in stock. Uh, the model... They finally sent me an email yesterday telling me that it shipped, you know, the Ecto-1 uh, kits that are coming. They did ship yesterday. Uh, this is February 2nd at the time I'm filming this. So on February 1st, they did ship out the, the model. But we don't, you know, I don't know when it's going to get here. They said it's going to be here probably in about two weeks. I, I don't understand the shipping delays. I don't get it. Either they don't have enough people to work in the shipping, you know, in shipping or uh, delivery. I don't understand. Um, but yeah, for the last two weeks, or almost three weeks now, I had a sinus infection. I had pressure up through here. Uh, I haven't been feeling good. You know, that's why I didn't make the video a week earlier. You know, this video I'm doing now. Uh, that's also a reason why I didn't. Now, I've already got the Fast and Furious, the next four kits that I will be making a video of soon. But I've been so busy working, I haven't had a time to make a video or even start putting any of it together. So I've been real busy. Uh, they've made us work six days last week. So I only had one day off and I spent that time to rest because I needed it. So, of course, I got to work today. So, um,. But yeah, everything's fine as far as, you know, health-wise. Um, now, as far as trying to react to ghosts and things like that, I don't know if I'm going to keep that in the videos or not. Some people don't seem like they like it, you know, having jump scares, things like that, so I might just leave that out. I could keep doing it if you want me to keep doing jump scares and doing stuff that's ghost-related, you know, to end the videos, like when I do my editing and everything. If you still want me to do that kind of thing, let me know. If you don't want me to do that, let me know. You know, I want to know what you want. You know, I want to know, I want to make my audience happy, okay? You know, I'm trying to entertain you, but I'm, you know, I'm kind of new to that editing kind of thing. You know, I've never had to do it before, so really well, except for the videos I've done recently in the last 12 months, or however long it's been since I last started doing videos again. So, since last year. So, uh, yeah, it's been a little bit of a hectic time you know uh, I was gonna go visit my wife over the weekend and 
it turns out that somebody had COVID in the wing that of the nursing home where my wife is. She, I couldn't go visit her because the area where she's at is where they got it blocked off because of COVID. So it may be two or three weeks before I get to visit my wife. You know, I'm kind of bummed about that because I usually go visit her on the weekends and see how she's doing and stay, you know, spend some time with her. But it don't look like it's going to happen anytime soon until they get rid of the... I mean, she's got her shots and she's got her booster shot. I haven't had a booster shot yet, but I've got both my main vaccines, a Moderna vaccines one and two. Of course, it made me sick when I got the second shot, but... Uh, last year but um, yeah it's a lot of crap going on right now this and the weather I don't get the weather it seems like every week we're having a so uh, almost a snowstorm it seems like every seven or eight days we're having a snowstorm and it sticks around for a day or two and then it starts warming up and it melts all the snow and then the roads are clear there's no ice on the roads or nothing like that and everything's fine we're fixing to have ice tomorrow and last week we had a snowstorm like or a week or a week and a half ago we had snow that lasted almost a day and a half and the roads were clear but it it snowed heavy and then the week before that we had snow and then the week before that we had snow so i i don't know what's going on with the weather it's like it goes from being snow to warm and then snow to warm snow and warm. it's it's weird this year so i don't know what's going on and then you got people having more covid you know the new strain of COVID's going around. It's like it's like one, and then the tornadoes we had right before Christmas last year. You know, around the tenth of December. Like, what's going on? You know, is something weird going on. Anyway, you know, it's a little chaotic right now. So, if I got time after this video, I'm gonna start doing the Fast and Furious model kits and filming them, and then we'll go forward from there. So. Uh, but yeah, I'm probably going to leave the jump scare out of this. And I, I got some new stuff. I found a way to get some images off of Eagle, Mo uh, e Eagle Moss's website. You know, the Ghostbuster emblem and some of that other stuff. So I can try to put that in the video. And this will be, it's going to be experimental in this video to see if I can continue to do it. Because I don't know if, if YouTube is even going to copy strike it or give me a strike saying this is an image you can't use it or a, or a sound that you can't use. And they'll give you a strike on it. It won't count against you or anything, but all it does is keep you from monetizing your videos. I don't want that. <laughs> so, I don't have sponsors or nothing like that, so I can't do that. So, um, so I'm trying to keep my videos from being copy strike so I can actually monetize these videos. Uh, of course, I can't do that until I get enough subscribers. So, anyway, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you uh, want to subscribe, it helps me out a lot. It will help me out a lot if you want to subscribe. I will have more videos coming as soon as I get the models. Or I do have the Fast and Furious, so I'm going to be doing four more videos. Even though they may be short, I will be doing one a week. But if you want me to combine the very short videos that are short, let me know in the comments that you want me to combine more than one video together. Like if they're if I if I do a short video and it's like seven minutes long, do you want me to combine it with another video that might be fifteen minutes long and combine it, and make it one? Because the last video you seen, if you watched the last one I did, I combined two videos together because they were short. So if you want me to do that, I'll, if they're short videos and you want me to make one out of it, let me know and I'll continue doing that. You just won't get as many videos per month, but you'll get it like a double you know in one video if they're short so but this time i'm going to leave them single so you get four videos this month and uh at least four maybe five it depends on when i get the ghostbuster model and then you might get four more of that and then four of the fast and furious but we'll see how it goes and i may combine some of them together if they are short enough i will combine some videos together but if you want me to keep them as single videos let me know if you want me to combine the short videos and make them one, let me know. <laughs> you have to let me know and communicate with me so I know these things, okay? So, um, if you like the ghost in the Ghostbuster videos that I put in the backgrounds, like floating around back here, I'm probably going to leave it out of this one, but I'm just saying, you know, sometimes I'll say there's a ghost and I'll look back here and see and, and there's nothing there. That's me doing the editing. There's nothing actually here. <laughs> 
I'm just interacting with nothing, okay? So if I look behind me and there's, you know, in the video it shows a ghost and I look back here and there's not nothing there, that's basically because there's not. It's just me putting in the editing later on. So if you like that and you see something going back here and then I turn, if you like that part, let me know. If you don't, I'll stop doing it. This video, I'm probably not going to put it in the part where I do the jump scare at the end of the video. Go, eh, you know, I jump at the screen and you see my face change and there's a scream. If you like that and you want me to keep doing it, say if you want to play a prank on somebody and you say, hey, watch the end of this video and you see me talking a little bit and all of a sudden you see the jump scare and then you do that to scare your friends. You know, that was something I would do to if I wanted to show a friend at work or something like that and I show them just the end part. It, just to get their response and get a laughter out of it or a jump out of them, that, that would be funny. So, I'm not going to put it in this one, okay? So, if you like those things, let me know. Okay, I think my phone is ringing. So, if the video cut off, then you know. But anyway, as I said, just let me know. Uh, if you like those things in the videos, I'll put them in. Um, give me a, you know, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, it helps me out a lot. And if you hit the notification button, it'll let you know when I upload new videos. It'll also let YouTube know the algorithm. It lets you know that you like that type of video. <clears throat> Dry throat. <clears throat> I hate when that happens. But, uh, yeah, it lets YouTube know that you like those kind of videos and things like that. And it kind of, it kind of, you know, it does whatever it does, so. Anyway, it's been a little bit of a long video, so I'm going to try to, I'll do some editing and shorten it down a little bit, but cut out some of the stuff and just kind of, you know, go right to the point. But anyway, I thought I'll let you know about the delays going on with Eagle Moss and Fan Home. Of course, Fan Home, they ship their stuff out right away and they let you know ahead of time, but Eagle Moss doesn't do that. You have to contact them. So, they don't keep stuff in stock for all their subscribers and then you know from Eagle Moss and they always seem to you know they wait until they run out of stock and tell you oh yeah it's out of stock we'll have to order it and it might take a month maybe two I, don't know. I was like okay I was like why don't y'all keep that in stock so you don't run out that's what I would do but you know some companies you don't understand what they're thinking you know they I don't get it anyway I'm not going to do any I'm I'm not going to keep ranting off about that. It could be a rant, so no. Okay, we'll end the video here. So, Thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, that kind of thing. So uh, until the next time, bye. I'm not going to do the jump scare. I know you probably won't expect that, so bye. Till the next one. <laughs> <laughs>